Improving feed efficiency in the cattle business is the focus of a current USDA-funded research project, which involves scientists, industry partners, breed associations, and cattle producers. The grant is part of the National Program for Genetic Improvement of Feed Efficiency in Beef Cattle, a program aimed at reducing the feed resources required to produce beef. To date, the group has collected DNA samples and feed intake, growth, and carcass data on more than 8,000 animals. We're in uh, our fourth year of uh, project activity, and uh, the project's really designed around both a research component um, as well as an applied or integrated component that features uh, a number of extension and outreach activities. Um, so our, our research component uh, focuses on collection of feed efficiency or feed intake phenotypes um, of animals from a, a number of major U.S. beef breeds um, and then developing a, a set of genomic tools or DNA markers associated with feed efficiency and feed intake um, phenotypes. Well there's no doubt that if, if there is a true difference and if it's genetic in cell metabolism that's the only really way that we can reduce the cost of producing quality beef. Any information that we get back in terms of a genetic difference, things that we're uh, not able to uh, recognize is a, is a big help because it should accelerate uh, the selection process for us. At this point, the largest cost is supplying a, li uh, a live calf at the heaviest possible weight before he goes into the feedlot. One of our big costs, it doesn't matter which part of the segment you're in, is feed costs. And so if as an industry we could improve our feed efficiency, say 10, 20, 25 percent, that make tremendous results from an industry perspective for the whole United States. So not only individual herds, individual ranchers, but as an industry, from a competitive standpoint, whether it's a worldwide competition, or competition from our other protein competitors like pork and poultry, fish, soybeans, or whatever those other protein sources are. Roughly a billion or a billion and a half dollars of cost savings potentially realized just in the feeding segment of our business. Um, we recognize that most of our research activities focused on um, the growing animal, which actually is a, is a very small portion of um, feed intake in our system. For example, about half of the calories consumed in beef production um, from conception to consumption, half of that's allocated to cow maintenance costs. Um, so there's a, a huge opportunity for us to learn more about um, feed efficiency phenotypes, underlying genetic mechanisms, and hopefully push some of this knowledge back into um, the cow-calf and, and seed stock segments from a cow maintenance standpoint as well. One of the goals behind the five-year study is to develop practical tools such as selection indexes and DNA tests that will help cattlemen make improvements in efficiency on the ranch. Visit beefefficiency.org to learn more about the research project.